Welcome back to the King's Queen, where I teach you how to master your hustle. Today, we're going to have a little fun. We're going to be working with some of Canva's newest updates. Some stuff um, hasn't been up long. I think I got two of the newest updates last week. They're rolling them out slow, not for everyone at the same time. You know how they do. But I got two, well, I got three, but I'm only going to be talking about two of the newest ones. And then there's a couple of other things that I just ran up on. I have no idea when they even added them to the site. So we're just going to be playing around with what I found. So um, if you want to play along with me, get your computers and let's dive into this tutorial. Okay, well, as you saw on my thumbnail, I had this image of this young lady. But the image started out like this. It's just a random image of a young woman. I got it off of the Canva Elements, their, one of their photos. And as you can see, her outfit on the picture is a like turquoise color. But on my design that I created, her outfit is like an orange color now. So I'm going to show you all how I did that. First of all, I'm going to click on the image. And we're going to go to Edit Photo. And we're going to be working with the new editor not the old one so if you're on the old one there's going to be a box at the top that asks you if you want to go to the new one go to the new editor and once you get to the new editor i want you to go to adjust it's going to be in the middle up at the top click on that and then we're going to scroll down until we see color edit color edit is pretty cool you can change some of the colors that are on photographs or your PNG files or whatever. It's not going to be perfect always, just know that, but it's still kind of cool. So I'm going to show you how it works. I want to change the color of her outfit, so I'm going to click this color and I'm going to change the hue. You just move it up or down. See how it's changing the color of her suit? You have to be careful because sometimes if the colors are very close together, that like her skin and the outfit, if it was um, around the same color, it would change her skin as well. So you have to be careful when um, changing colors because sometimes it's going to make the picture look um, odd. But this one, it's... Is doing what it's supposed to be doing. I think I want to make, I'm not going to do it the way I have it on my thumbnail. I'm going to change it to, it started off turquoise, so I think I'm going to make it, I like this purple color. I'm going to go with purple. Okay, after that, we've changed the color of her outfit. Now I'm going to show you a tool that they've given us that I've never seen anything like it. I'm pretty sure they may have something like this on Photoshop, but I don't use Photoshop at all. I had no idea, but this photo, as you see, it has a background. What would you say if I told you we could remove her from the background without making the background disappear? We could separate her. What are you talking about, Toya? Well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to click on her. And now I'm going to edit photo. And as you can see, we have three new tools here. I'm going to click the one in the middle that is called Magic Grab. Once I click on Magic Grab, It separates her from the background. Matters what your background, I mean, what your photo looks like. It, it um, tries to replace 
what it thinks goes well with the background. So sometimes it looks okay behind your main image. Sometimes it looks kind of weird. So I'm not going to move her. I'm going to let her stay where she was. I'm going to put her back in the middle where she was. That is pretty cool to me. I've never been able to separate an image from the background before. But I'm going to show you how I did my next step. As you can see, I put some words behind her, but I kept the background. So I'm going to show you all how I did that. I'm going to click the letter T. And this will be great for those of you who edit photos. This will give you some extra um, ideas for editing people's photos if you're in that business. If you're not, I suggest you get into it. Set you up a Fiverr account. People always want photos edited and all kinds of things. And Canva is making it easy for us to get this done. So this could be a new side hustle for you. Who knows? But I'm going to type the word Paris like I did before. I'm going to enlarge it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to change the color. And I want it to be the same color as her outfit. So I'm going to click on the color, click the dropper, and go to her outfit. And now I'm going to go to transparency and I'm going to make it a little transparent so you can still see the background through it, but you can still see the word Paris as well. And I'm going to put the word behind her since we have separated her from the background now. As you know, I always use my brackets control and the left bracket to put the word behind the lady and I'm just going to duplicate this a few times and put them all behind her <clears throat> excuse me okay next I'm going to show you how to do a fading effect so i'm going to push the letter r so that a square pops up and when you do this and you um, put up shapes generally they give you the color that is a color that is in your photo already so this is good simply go up to the color that this is and then i want you to select that color and then you go to gradient. And now I'm going to select the second style. And I want to turn the second color all the way off. So you click on the slightest color, the one that is not purple. I'm going to pick the, this one and I'm going to go under this colorful row and go to this one so that it will turn the lightest color all the way off. And now I have a purple gradient and I'm going to flip it. Let's use the little wheel. And now I'm going to use my brackets again and the control key. And I'm going to put this gradient behind her legs. And there we go. We have a edited photo that started off like... Hmm. started off like this that's cool but we came up with this and I like my design a whole lot better that's just a few things that I found on Canva I had to show you all, you know, every time I see something or I come up with something, I have to show my people. 
and I hope you all got something from this short little tutorial I hope you go and use these tricks and tips to create some greatness for yourself but until next time be blessed